What's up, YouTubers? What's up, all my YouTube family and my Facebook family? I just want to say what's up. Give you guys an inside peek on my next piece. It's kind of, it's relatively similar to one of the pieces I painted before, but just a different color. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you the full magnitude of the piece because you have lights glaring on it, like right here in this particular spot. But uh, if you take a look at the piece in uh, person, it's pretty interesting. I wish I could show you guys, but uh, you know. Try to give you a little peek at what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I'll even give you, you know, a little insight on how I part part of, you know, the construction of the piece. Uh, basically, what I do is uh, I find my colors. I'm sorry, guys. I find my colors that I want to use. Uh, for instance, uh, I have like, let's zoom in there. Uh, uh, what color is this? Uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to see. But it's an ultramarine blue. Um, I have some other blues up here. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, sorry, guys. You really can't see. How about uh, just adjust the camera? Still can't see, huh? Okay, there we go. Have another blue and uh, same blue. Ultimately, let's see. What is this? We have a. There we go. Okay, so basically, what I do is, uh, I basically choose my colors that I want to use for a piece. And uh, when I find the colors, basically what I do is, I cover the whole canvas. Uh, first, the canvas is gessoed. After it's gessoed, I cover the whole canvas in the particular color that I want to use. And one of my tricks or techniques that I use to keep the canvas wet is, I have some uh, air, uh, some uh, acrylic medium and some water, and basically what the acrylic medium is is to stretch the paint and uh, you know make it last a little longer. So the reason why I use the uh, the spray bottle is to keep the canvas moist and keep the paint wet because acrylic um, it's a plastic paint and it, it it dries pretty fast and you know that could be a little annoying when you're trying to you know work on the piece so that's my way of keeping the canvas wet and basically what I do is like uh, I just like strokes 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 like that so that's my technique is strokes 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 and uh, the whole canvas is, uh, is blue right and then I put the white like in the center and then I stroke the white and I spread it out throughout the canvas so uh that's how i get that technique and uh what i'll do is probably darken the outside of the canvas and uh you know give it a nice finish i'll keep you guys posted on the video all right the canvas is pretty big too it's like i want to say 36 by 48 so uh yeah well take care check okay so um right here uh Wish I could focus it for you guys, but it's kind of hard to do it for one hand with one hand. Uh, right now, I have a um, Iwata Eclipse HPCS. This is the top feed. Um, my other guns are over here. I think I showed you guys this before, but uh, this is the BCS. It's the bottom feed. This right here. I have a Pache that my friend gave me. I don't know what model it is. Sorry, I can't tell you guys, but. It's pretty decent. I like it. The quality is good. Um, I don't know. I think it's a decent gun, but I'm going to always be a Iwata guy. Uh, right here is the Micron. It's down there. It's kind of hidden. Open up the box for you guys right quick so you can see. Come on, damn it. Okay. See that, baby? I keep that in, keep that in the cut. I try not to bring it out too much, but sometimes... Desperate times calls for desperate measures. 
but what I'm about to do right now is apply this coat on uh on the painting. So I wish I could uh prop this up so you guys could see. I have my tripod, but I don't know where it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, this not gonna work. I'll just show you guys when it's done. Okay. Peace. Okay, YouTubers. Um, my Facebook family. I just finished up the painting. It's like semi-finished. I'm going to put like a a coat of airbrushing well a coat of airbrush paint on it but slightly not nothing too much um it's going to be like a dark green um dark green dark blue just to you know add a different element to the painting it will definitely bring the painting out uh but you know it's it's looking good man it didn't take me long uh still working be done in a few look at them crisp strokes don't it just make you want to cream? Nah, I'm only joking. <laughs> hey, hey, no laughing. No laughing. Alright. Okay, so I got the tripod for you guys. I, I actually found it. So, what I'm doing right now is applying the... Uh, the Kratex, it's a, um, the color is aqua. Looks more like green in the bottle. It's a really dark color, but when you apply it, it's not that bad. It's actually lighter than what it appears to be in the bottle. And I'm just basically applying this to give it another dimension. You know? Bring another effect to the paint. I don't wanna I don't wanna add too much. Just the tint. Alright. Now it's time to do this side. Looks like ice or something like crystal or oh. me release you know I release more fluently everything comes together as I paint don't ask me how because I can't tell you what can I what I can tell you is that it comes out and it comes out good See? Probably add a little black to it and then I'll be done. Alright guys. Check it later man. LP. You can check me out at 2 creativewithincom or Facebook.com slash 2 Lovely. I love it.